the YouTube. It's your girl, Asia. And it's your boy, BJ. And, and we back, back like we, we never left. left. Y'all, we back in the building. About to jump right back into The Sopranos. Uh, and we started a new season. And the beginning of this season, heartbreaking. Yeah. Tony got shot by his own uncle, Uncle Junior. I just, I don't even know how to, like, process it. Like, when it happened, like... I didn't even know how to process it when he did that to him because it was so unexpected. But he was already acting so peculiar yeah. where I was just like, what's wrong with Uncle Junior? But it, it, it almost seemed like that episode was setting up for something bad to happen by how erratic Uncle Junior was acting at the very beginning when he was trying to like tell him about dig, digging up the holes. Yeah. And then when Bo Tony walked in the house, it was almost like he was thinking that he was somebody trying to break in or something, yeah. almost to a degree. Right now, I'm just hoping that he comes out the coma and he can make a 100% full recovery. Yeah. That's all that I'm hoping for Tony right now at this moment, because right now, it's looking real, real bad. Yeah, okay. Somebody got, like, sepsis. And yeah, it looks really bad, yeah. too, with the hole in his stomach and everything. Yeah. It's just, it is horrific right now, so... It's not looking good for Tony at this moment. Yeah, so, so right now, it's almost like he's stuck in between, like, life and death in some... Uh, subconscious state right now. Right. It's kind of where he's at. Yeah. Ask Kevin Finnerty. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, smash that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. Y'all can tap into the Patreon, check out all of our unedited, uncut videos, as well as our behind-the-scenes footage, access to all of our TV series, and shoot, there was something that I missed in between, but <laughs> if, if you know what I mean, you know, okay? But let's right. go ahead. <laughs> And jump into this video. That's Paul in the CTS, baby. <laughs> hey, come on now. <laughs> Get your groove on. Colombians knock off at noon, then it's empty. Manager's unit down a flight. <laughs> Every time somebody see them and they and they take off running, we already know what's up. <laughs> Who's in there? Open it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Shoot the prick! Look at his eyes. Look at Paulie's eyes. Oh, they be no. big as hell. No. Oh. <laughs> Give him shit. <laughs> My fucking balls. Oh, I bet he can feel it in his stomach. Oh, dude, go up that far? Yeah, go up that far. Lousy <laughs> two G's. Oh, oh, oh. Cha ching. Man, that, them some wrecks. I wouldn't have thought the dishwasher. Me neither. Oh! I'm gonna go ahead. So, you were at South Mountain Arena yesterday, trying to buy a gun. Who told you that? We know how you feel, but you can't do this. Yeah, why the fuck not? Listen to me, I'm your uncle. Junior's in federal lockup. No one's getting to him there. Your dad does not want you to get involved. You gotta channel that rage elsewhere. I told the nurse that I thought he moved his eyebrows. Did you pass that along? Mr. Soprano, you're really going to have to recalibrate your expectations. He can't oh. even maintain his blood pressure. We're a long way from home. But he's really fighting. That's the news you don't ever want to hear. But he's fighting. Summons. Uh-oh. Monastery. <laughs> Crystal Monastery. Are those the people that he got into it with? I don't know. When, when, the, when the, the the Buddhist guy slapped him? I don't know, but I'm like, if, <laughs> if I was in this conscious state, I'm like, oh, like, please just wake up. Just wake up. <laughs> I think so, it is. Look, it is. See? Do I really look that much like this guy? To a certain extent, all Caucasians look alike. <laughs> Yesterday, I was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. <laughs> Please, uh, come inside. Don't go in there. I came here because I thought you could help me reach Finnerty. I'm not him. <laughs> <laughs> One day, we will all die. And then, 
We'll be the same as that tree. No me, no you. Be that as it may, we'll need to find someone who will take responsibility. Well, I can't do that. Then the lawsuit proceeds. <laughs> it's just that simple. Well, then you need to find the right guy to, to <laughs> and proceed then again, with. And then he said, y'all Caucasians, y'all all look, look alike. <laughs> Honey, your asthma kicking up? Springtime. I was out of control. I am so proud of you. Acting boss. I hope that day would never come. You know me. All I ever wanted was to carve out a little piece and enjoy some grandkids. Have you asked yourself what happens if, God forbid, Tony Soprano doesn't recover? I never saw myself as that kind of guy. Now I'm more behind the scenes. Vice. Strategy. The times make the man, honey. Not the other way around. <laughs> look, look how you walking. <laughs> it's these fucking flowers right here. <clears throat> Dang, that's like the third time he had to do that. Yeah. It was Eugene's going on three years, and Eugene was with me. Junior ruled on it, and it wasn't right then. This fucking guy. Easy. What do we do here, so? He don't know. Here's the thing. For the time being, it's Bobby's. He's still gonna kick up to you, 20%. As long as for the time being. Yes, sir. Why do you speak Norwegian? For now. <laughs> no. That's the last thing you need is family fighting with each other over, over stuff like this. Right. And you know it's going to be over money. I was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. And I'm sorry to hear that. Is it possible that I am Kevin Finnerty? All right, I'll stop. <laughs> Why does he keep saying that light, though? I keep saying that, too. It looked like a, like a lighthouse. You heard about this Orange Street takedown? The Colombians. That you? My guy had the tip. Carmela, she gets teased cut under the circumstances, correct? Yes, that is the correct thing. Oh, ladies' room next door. <laughs> I'm going to get teased piece of my half to sill here for her. Back up there, Bluto. <laughs> Your half? You would never heard about it without my information. Big help. It was fucking mayhem. Doc says I need an ultrasound on my groin and balls. <laughs> ultrasound. That's a hundred grand a piece. You got it? We're looking after Carmella. No question. Of course. Take, for example, Beowulf. Who is Grendel? But the habit. Ah, fresh casualties in the Battle of the Blank Page. Have a seat. My past is an addict. Oh. What did it? Yo, I thought this was about to have a seat. I'm offering you a way to wipe your fucking obligation. I can't write a feature now. Oh, him. That saw thing took in a hundred mil worldwide. My idea is saw meets Godfather too. We've been <laughs> track record. Bo Jones, young wise guy, gets betrayed by his people. They whack him. Leave his body parts and dumpsters, long story short, he is put back together by science, or maybe it's supernatural. And he gets fucking payback on everyone who fucked him over, including the cunt he was engaged to. She was getting porked by his boss the night the hero was killed. I have a meeting tomorrow. Don't make me come look for you. Get on out of here. Okay, now that sounds like a horror movie. <laughs> Uh -huh. I don't know about the soft part uh -huh. or the Godfather part, but right. having a... A horror movie taking place in East Brooklyn. The program says sugar after meals holds the body of full. When you married my cousin, everybody used to say you look like John Travolta. <laughs> he said John Travolta. I'm a supporter of the next guy, but there's a point. And what if Tony takes a turn for the worse? I'm going to hand her $100,000 and he dies the next day? Money down the drain. Seems like Vito always thinking like that, though. Yeah. Look at him. Look. <laughs> He's a fucking vegetable. But I still got to pay tribute to the princess of Little Italy. And the boss's wife. What are you going to do? Fuck her. Uh... Mm. Wow. You start to see people shoot color show a little right. bit. Right. Mm. Wow. And the fact how Tony looks out for them. Yeah. But we already know Paula be on that type of time. You might want to take care of that thing we talked about. Which thing? Big piece of pie you were bringing to the hospital? She's expecting it, so make it happen. What are you worried about? I think I know who I'm fucking dealing with here. Keep your shirt on. It's done. Man, still sharp, ain't he, today? Yeah, every day. <laughs> every day, yeah. Every day. Yeah. <laughs> he look, he look extra sharp today. Was 
Yeah. If something happened to you, I would be there every minute. 24-7. I wouldn't leave your side, babe. All you got to do is just talk to me. I'm going to hear every word you say, <laughs> if that ever happened. Mild concussion, he said. Told me I'd be okay. No, don't do that. Are you telling me everything? <laughs> Vanity family reunion. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good thing, right? The, the, with his eye? I think so. So like he's following the light? Uh, I want to welcome all of you to the first meeting of possible investors on this project. Some of you know I've had nine pictures under my subspecies. JT? Yeah, Ron. We've been working on a new kind of slasher film. It takes place in the world of, you know. <laughs> um, no, we don't. It's about a wise guy with a big mouth and bigger dreams. Anyway, um, he's kind of outshining his boss, so the guy has him clipped. His body reassembles itself, ties a cleaver onto the stump. Right now, it's called Pork Store Killer, but I'm thinking just cleaver. I'm confused. You said he's dead. <laughs> he's a ghost? As I understood, a zombie of sorts. He's not going to end up all in the same dump. And how's that a slasher film? What are you talking about? A slasher. A couple of kids naked in the lake. Certified maniac on the loose. Not a ghost. Actually, the maniac is almost always a supernatural force. Freddy, Jason, Michael Myers. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Michael Myers is an escaped mental patient. Jason or Freddy... Different kind of movie. Well, that's the kind we're doing here. The Ring, they made millions, and that's not even including the Godfather angle, which we got here. I don't know about this script. <laughs> <laughs> it does not make sense. They disposed him at stops that happened to be along the same route. <laughs> so you need these kind of guys to give you ideas. I don't know. Ghostbusters, another fucking money machine. <laughs> See? <laughs> Ghostbusters. <laughs> they just trying to find a way to make some money. Jr. himself told our Amy Keehan, growing up soprano, it's just plain weird. Bite it. Big lie. Uh oh. What's your deal today? They got the story. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm gonna fucking kill you. You made a fool of yourself and our family on national fucking television? Uh, they totally misquoted me. Uh. Don't talk to the press! You're the one who looked like a total asshole, dragging me around like I was five years old. You're a cross to bear. That's all you are to your father, to me, to everybody. Fuck this! Mm. Jesus, Mel. What the hell's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? Mom. They were there to send her over the top. As if she don't have enough to worry about. <laughs> You have any extra compensation for what you've been going through? Nah, part of the job. With great power comes great responsibility. Boy, see his house. Boy, he got a nice house. The bathroom. Yeah. I need so for a second. Keep it short. He's pretty beat. This better be important, Bobby. Disarrange my veto. This temporary shit. I need an answer already. Calm the fuck down. Let me think. Mornings are better. I'll come up with a solution. I don't want you to worry about it. <coughs> See how Seal having yeah. all these health problems yeah, and what's stuff? Yeah, what's going on with Seal? They wearing him to death. I was shrieking at my son. I said something very cruel. How are you doing? You know, I'm frazzled, but I am more worried about them. Honestly, I think about my son in front of those cameras, having to vouch for all of this. My daughter and her friends, they have to face all these years of, of facading. They do or you do? The minute I met Tony, I knew who that guy was. Good, but the kids, they don't decide who they're born to. So now what? Yeah, that's just it. Now what? Hmm. I'm glad that she's talking to somebody about this. It's okay, honey. You can feel okay. Oh. oh, no. Oh, no. We were just talking about that. So, I didn't hear from you. There's no time it's hard being like that. <laughs> Dang. Point is, Tony goes, somebody's going to have to step into the breach. I'm a young man. And now, 
I'm a healthy man. <laughs> Look, he's trying to make himself a candidate. Okay. Didn't nobody let you to be a candidate. <laughs> I need you to move. The main thing, the doctors want positive talk. Got it. Oof, Maron, he looks terrible. Okay, Polly. <laughs> Damn. All right, Finn's on his way up. I'll be back in a few minutes, okay? Stay positive. I don't know on, what Polly got to say. I don't know what's about to come out of Polly's mouth. You come on, Polly. Oh gosh. I gotta wear a jack, the doc says. Keep the testes elevated. <laughs> they gave me an ultrasound, uh, no rupture. Mm. Fucking guy tells me I can't expect the same things from my body no more. I uh -oh. tell you, T. First the oh, eye. What's going on? When I was in the service, I won the Chin Ups Cup three weeks in a row. Guy asked me to model for the boxer poster. He was half a fag, but uh, I was flattered just the same. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> what the wrinkles like an old lady's cunt? <laughs> Polly. Maybe because, but I think that's a good sign though, because he heard his voice. Back in town. Maybe, or... Hey, Vito. That's the indication that keeps his blood pressure up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Having people like Polly around. Wow. Hi. <laughs> oh! <laughs> He's still doing it. He's still on that type of time. I forgot about that. <laughs> He's scared. He's scared of Vito. He was like... <laughs> Why wouldn't that do his wrist? Like a puss. Stand up one day, FBI rat fuck the next. Uh-oh. I fucked it right here. Will you please shut up in there? <laughs> he won't follow to shut up. Right. He's going to get out. What is that beacon anyway? Oh. God damn it. <laughs> shut up! Shut up in there! Oh, I said to mine. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh my god. Uh oh. Help! Out of the way, sir. Oh my god, what's happening? Freddy Pulse. Take a stretcher, get aboard, ready? 80 help. Oh my god, is he dying? Where's my mom? Oh my god. 150 oh. milligrams of ammo in the room. Grab the paddles. Oh. Dad! Stand back. Clear. Damn, Paula sent that man into cardiac arrest. Basically. Excuse me, is this the Finnerty reunion? Wow. Your family's in sight. What family? They're here to welcome you. You're going home. I am? I wish home, though. I hope, I hope you're not, not going home to that place in the sky. Right. Everyone's in there. I don't think he should go in. I don't either. <laughs> you can't bring business in there. The fact that Tony B. <laughs> he didn't already made it. <laughs> it's standing outside. What is that? You need to let go. We love you, Daddy. Don't leave us. Oh, they're saying don't let go. Uh-uh. They're saying don't leave mm -hmm. us. Don't go in the house. You can let it go. Just come say hello. See? Look at him. Ooh. Please don't leave us, Daddy. We love you. Look. Oh my God, thank God. <laughs> Dad, look. Here you are. Skip's gonna make it. He's got you. Ah! <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> wow. You see that? Ooh. I'm not surprised. I'm not, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised that Vito kind of like, he could care less if Tony had lived. He really, really was hoping that Tony passed away. I, I, I feel that too. The fuck took you so long? I had to get it together, didn't I? We got to get that cut to her now. We can't talk yet because of the tube that was in his throat. Maybe we should consider ourselves lucky there. Mm. <laughs> <sighs> what, honey? I'm dead, right? 
No. No, you're in the hospital. Damn. How's he doing, sweetheart? He just passed his first mental acuity test, so... Your strength, that was the difference. A little something from us. I don't know what to say. This is what we do, honey. I'd want the same for my Marine. Or my ma. Wow. And to think they weren't going to give that to her. Right. They thought Initially, he was going to die. Yeah. That's messed up. Ooh, Pauly. I envy, though. Of all people, Pauly, though. Ooh, look at Carmela saw that. See, up and around. Best. Sometimes I go about in pity for myself. And all the while, a great wind carries me across the sky. Listen, T, something I wanted to talk to you about. I'm going to take another run at the movie business. I'm hoping you'll become an investor when you feel a little better. It's pretty exciting. All due respect, I think you owe me this. Because I came to you about Adriana. You've got him up? He should be upright as much as possible. Man, that's a blessing right there. He's sitting up, his eyes open and everything. It's gotta feel good, you know, the simple things. Hmm. Wow. Oh no. I'm not even I'm not even gonna pretend. No, nah, keep it 100. That kind of just ticked me off a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like, as much as Tony is always looking out for everybody, and mm -hmm. like as soon as something happens to somebody, he's the first one to say who gets what. Give up your half, do this, everybody put in this much, do this. Especially this. somebody's in a hospital. Right, to make sure that everybody's taken care of. Every time something like this happens, though, like, I just start getting a bad feeling in my gut because I'm just like, you know, the people who's supposed to be your ride or die is probably yeah. supposed to be down for him. You know, Vito, all of them, supposed to be, like, his... his That's the family. Yeah. Supposed the, to be the, the family. The fam. And, and literally, like, they leaving him high and dry, like, oh, well, he about to die anyway. We don't have to do nothing for him. Trying to get their piece of the pie, however they can get it. Right, you know? exactly. So, yeah, that don't, that don't, I don't like the way that look either. Yeah. Yeah, y'all. So, we gonna see how it this It gets shiesty out. out there. Wait till Tony finds out about that. I don't know how he gonna figure it out and how he gonna find out, but somebody gonna... Slip up and say Maybe something. Maybe Carmella, yeah, see. Yeah, because Carmella saw it. Mm -hmm. Like, she saw how they were acting when they got on the elevator. So, maybe she's saying like that. Yeah, I don't like Vito. Yeah, Vito, I don't... Yeah, no. He he, he tiptoeing right now because he better hope that Meadow doesn't say anything to him about what he saw... What her boyfriend saw Vito doing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because that's, that hasn't yeah, come back up yet. Yeah, you're right. And he and he just walked into the hospital. Right. And Vito made a pass at him. Ooh, yeah. So okay. So that hasn't yeah. come back up yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. you know, we'll see. Okay, so, all right, y'all, let's keep it moving. This is uh, episode four, the fleshy part of the thigh. Nothing wrong with the fleshy part of the thigh. Here you go with the thighs again. Okay, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> Watch it with the morphine now. Hmm. That's a great saying. Everybody keeps telling me how lucky I am. You are. Septic shock. Attending staff gave you 20 to 1. My own uncle puts me through this. New gunshot. Rapa. Deluxe. Got shot seven times coming out of a club. Fiona. Look, I've been feeling not myself. My thoughts keep running away with me. It's very common in post-surgical patients. Maybe you'd like to talk to someone. Social worker? He need Dr. Melfi. Right. Jason, my condolences. Your dad was the best boss any of us ever had. Sad to hear you're selling the company. I've been going over the books. We're paying an Anthony Soprano, second highest salary in the company. Where do I reach him? He's in the hospital. You should talk to his colleague, Mr. Galtieri. <laughs> he hitting that button, ain't he? But Left and right, left and right. He like, have you heard the good news? He went hit that button to the right. That's right. Aaron Arkaway, Jan's friend. Oh, yeah. This is our prayer leader. Hi. I thought we'd come up and pray with you. I've seen people delivered from unbelievable pain. Myself included. Oh, yeah? I was at rock bottom. I was addicted to cocaine and strippers. And I prayed for God to save me. And he came in. Praise him. Accept the Lord as your personal savior. Is this Aaron Arkaway? Hey, 
We were just dialoguing with your husband. We were about to pray. They were. You know, they've done clinical studies about the power of prayer. 11% fewer complications. I have read that. Dear Jesus, bestow your loving, healing grace upon our injured friend. Lord, help heal his wounds and help him with your cleansing love. Amen. 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 It was a nice gesture. Yeah. Oh, my God. What is it, Doctor? I just found Jimmy Hoffa. Come <laughs> <laughs> oh <my. laughs> Look who I got here. Oh, the Sanitation Prince. <laughs> Sorry about your loss. Father and I were very close. I'll be back later. Sweetheart. Thank you for everything. Paulie tells me you're thinking of selling your father's business, the Chucky Chinelli. I think it's the best thing for Mom. Frankly, Jason, I don't think you should sell the business right now. There's a lot of potential buyers out there. Let me get out of the hospital and get you the best price. You let me handle this. I don't want to see you get hurt. Hey, oh, he ain't got to worry about nothing else. Right. Just let Tony handle it. You know, they got a lot of money tied up in there, too. We're afraid she doesn't have long left. I'm surprised she didn't call Ma. She asked specifically to see you. Paulie. Hey, Donnie, I bought you some pinolis. Paulie, you should know. Speak up, Aunt Dot. I was, I was a bad girl. How could you be a bad girl? You're a nun. During the war, there was a soldier. He was so lonely. Aunt Dottie, if this is going where I think, maybe you should talk to a priest. I got pregnant. Oh. I had a baby. Paulie, it was you. You're my son. But, Ma. Maria Lucia is your aunt. I'm your Ma. What? I was a bad girl. <laughs> I was a bad girl. <laughs> that was not anything he was trying to hear walking in there today. Mm -hmm. So the lady that he been calling Ma is not his Ma. No. It's an upside to everything. Yeah. Armageddon CD is now charting number five. Frankly, the shooting couldn't have come at a better time. Yeah, but it really hurts. But check it. Seven caps. Tupac ain't getting near that. <laughs> Helping considerably with the street cred, which has always been something of a problem because you had a job all those years. <laughs> come on, man. You're going to be all right, Lux. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> Keep Yo. your eyes to yourself, you sexy freak. Nah, I like it better. Mm. Oh, that's, that's a trench, I think. Are oh, you a rap star? My son would know. The Lux gonna produce my album. Then he gets shot. Make him gangster number one. My son says he's more popular than ever because of it. Uh-oh. Oh, that's Polly. Oh, he had green oats. Uh-oh, he, he ain't even parked in the parking lot. There goes mom. Paulie, I won forty dollars at Kino. Mm -mm. I just saw Aunt Dottie. Turns out she's not my aunt. You've been bullshitting me my entire life. Paulie, it's true, isn't it? Son of a bitch! I gave you everything. You're a fraud and a phony, and she's even worse. She's a whore. <laughs> She wanted to be a nun, but she got in trouble. And you helped her out. Forget who gets victimized. I always loved you. Holly! Wow. Dang. I mean, I feel like that's hard news to take, though. And we say your whole life, his whole life. He, he, he an old man now. Everything he's done for her. Maybe Dang. I'll help you if you got shot. What the fuck are you talking about? Got shot. You know, raise your profile with X-Lax. Something easy. The fleshy part of the thigh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he like I'm telling you where the where the good part is. <laughs> Just the top layer of the thigh. Excuse me. Hi, you're a friend of Anthony's. How's he doing? He's in a lot better shape than those fucking nuns you got up there. <laughs> he hot. He shouldn't have came to the hospital hot like that. Not like that. Oh. Oh. Where the fuck you going? Sorry, Tom. Paulie ain't even paying attention. His mind's somewhere else. Hope you got some sleep last night. I was uh, snoring like a son of a bitch. Oh, I hope you got some sleep. I was cutting farts like sonic booms. 
What are you for? Sinus infection, and they saw some stuff they didn't like. Right They're running tests. Not a guinea pig. Tony Soprano. Original G. Yeah, whatever. Why don't you come by my joint later on tonight? Go have a fight on satellite. He's an original G. Not even a courtesy call. Are you trying to poach my company? You've been in a coma. So that gives you carte blanche? Or whatever happens to Barone's sanitation, I gotta be kept on. Barone is my secondary insurance carrier. Now what you're asking? Come on. Look, I don't wanna argue. I'm not well. All I can do is deliver the message, Anthony. What's going on? My Aunt Dottie's been sick. She just died. Oh. Sorry. Look, Paulie don't wanna say nothing. How do you process that? Yeah, the fucker the keeps dropping his hands. Damn. Oh, Hold the motherfucker steady. Wonder what kind of health insurance he's got. It's a life of abuse. Yes, well, he is a boxer. <laughs> it's the same for everybody. You think you got family, but in the end, they fuck you too. Mm. I tell you, that sucks. We each and every one of us are alone in the ring. Just like that poor prick. Oh, that's one way to look at it. You got a better one? Okay. <laughs> Watching fix this TV. <laughs> I'm about to say. He says there's the issue of his health insurance. That selfish prick. Mm. I'm sitting in here facing a shit storm, and all he can think about is himself. Could you be quiet? Oh, Tony need to take it easy. Sam, that's why he need to calm down. He need right, because he's still not well at all. Not even close. Uh-oh. What's up, Polly? Since even with Tony's advice, you seem determined to sell your father's company, there's something you should know. We gotta be taken care of. So I'm gonna honor whatever provisions are in the contract. Fuck the contract. It's coming out of your race. You know, I'm, I'm starting to feel a little intimidated. You should be. A man who teaches skiing for a living ought to look after his physical condition, his knees. You wouldn't be in this situation you listen to Tony in the first place. Okay. Don't sell the company. <laughs> That's basically what he's trying to tell you. Right. In that voice. Period. Look, the numbers just don't work. If I give Tony what he wants, I lose money on the sale. I can't do that to my mom. You work it out any way you want, but nobody's backing out of the deal. The Barone routes are now Cinelli routes. That's that. Uh-oh. And ain't going over well. Well, and he right in the middle of it. Yeah, you can go ahead and nix that. See, he shouldn't have, he shouldn't have tried to take it further. <laughs> Tony had already told him. Yeah. Now nah, just blowing up in his face. Not only is my mom not my mom. Who the fuck even knows who this rust bastard is? Worst thing, I'm not who I am. It's like my whole life is a joke. A big fucking joke on me. Man, and I'm gonna say like that too. Oh, this gonna cause a conflict on who pick it up and who not picking it up, right. see? Right, yep. I told you, that the, the, with these, these waste management jobs, they get very, very complicated. What's going on? This ain't your route no more. Okay. Oh, uh, not in front of the sun. Poppy! Oh. oh, Poppy. Today was a bad day. Little boy, little boy should have been at school today. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's Polly. You didn't go to your mother's funeral. No, you should feel sorry for her. I hope she rots in hell. Don't say that. And you. I was your meal ticket. I went without so you could have the massage chair from Sharper's Image. The flat screen TV. Polly, <sighs> oh. no. No, 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 no. Not out the window. <sighs> oh. <laughs> He's gonna blow up. He's blowing up. Uh-oh. Please. You're on your own. I never want to see you again. Don't you worry. She better yeah. be glad that's all he did. Okay. Better be glad she didn't go out the window. You know how Polly get down. You shouldn't have made the deal without talking to me in the first place. How was I supposed to know? I made it perfectly clear. Thanks to you, a man is beaten half to death. Well, his little boy was watching. It's not fair. The business belongs to my family. Fair? You remind me of my kid. You're your worst than my son. Get him the fuck out of here. <laughs> How was I supposed to know? My family kept me in the dark. Don't you communicate? Oh, you make me sick, you fucking baby. Woo! <laughs> Do not sell the company. Polly is a little different right now. Shoot me one time. Uh. One time only, you heard? <laughs> 
I don't want to know when it's coming. You decide. This, this might be kind of risky. <laughs> <laughs> the fleshy oh, part of the thigh. What's he doing? <laughs> hey, Tony. Okay to visit? Yeah, yeah, sure. How are you feeling? Physically a little better than I was. That prayer business works. <laughs> <laughs> I brought you something. Born again. Charles Coulson. The Watergate guy. A ruthless, powerful man who thought he was above the law. Man, he looked like he worked for the FBI. You look like it to you? <laughs> it's about the way it's her combed or what? <laughs> he just too fresh and clean. Salvation isn't just about being saved from hell after you die. It's also about being safe from yourself while you're still alive. I hope when you get out of the hospital that you'll join us at the church. Well, it must be nice to have something to hold on to. Maybe. <laughs> Dinosaurs, my kids can't get enough. Yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> A lot of scientists would disagree with you. And those people all have an agenda. Evolution and salvation. Are mutually exclusive. Guy next door's a scientist. Think he'd disagree with you big time. And that man's not saved. I don't know. I don't know either. They be digging up dinosaur bones. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> Literally. So, Mr. Wizard, you were talking about tornadoes. You know what the Indians say about the wind? They say that sometimes we go around feeling pity for ourselves, but behind our back, a great wind is carrying us. We don't see we're part of a much bigger reality. Now we die. Why are you so interested in all this? I was in this coma mm. and, uh... Had a coming to God moment. Look, I don't remember nothing. But before I woke up, I felt like I was being pulled towards something. And I don't want to go back. Tony, totally like, uh... I'm <laughs> not in that That's business. That's not funny. Yeah, that one's, uh... <laughs> Little Paulie tells me you didn't go to your aunt's funeral. And I'll tell you something else. I'm done with Nochi. Four G's a month for that nursing home? Fuck that. What the fuck, Paulie? That woman loved you. She fed you. You gotta get beyond this petty bullshit, Paulie. You, you're part of something bigger. What are you gonna learn that? I'm saying you're part of something way bigger. Oh, right in the butt cheek. Oh, <laughs> my ass! Oh, me in my ass! <laughs> that did not look like the fleshy part of the thigh, though. <laughs> That's the fleshy part. That was the buttock. <laughs> right in the butt. <laughs> Listen, Tone, that package from Vito and Paulie, I have to believe that there was more there. Sure. So? Vito, especially, is somebody you should watch. See? That's why he should have Carmelo around. Mm hmm. Dr. Plepler says that you are stable and the pain is manageable. So that's good news. Your husband's coming home. Wow. Ain't going home. Guy next door, Mr. Schwinn, had surgery this morning. Cancer. You know anything about it? I heard they removed his larynx. Tony, Tony about to go home now. He about to walk about that bad boy. I, I made you some stuffed zucchini. You can't eat that. Oh, I'm sorry. Thoughtful anyways. This are my condolences regarding Dick, mm -hmm. huh? Jace told me about the conversation you had. Well, it is a very unfortunate situation. Jason just doesn't understand how the business works. That's for sure. No, it's not his fault. It's my fault. Blame me, not him. You're not involved in this. He's my boy, Tony. He's my baby. You have a son. I'm begging you. Believe me, nothing's gonna happen to him. I'm his mother. I love him. If anyone has to pay for this, let it be me. Damn. But Tony, do I have your word? Yeah, yeah, you got my word. <laughs> so I knew who's gonna get emotional. I knew Paul was gonna get emotional after hearing her. <sighs> he all messed up inside. Yeah. Understandably, though. Understandably. I feel like, I feel like he would be, though. Like, like anybody would. Yeah. You went your whole life thinking that. Your mom was your mom, and really, they're not your mom. Right. And Aunt Dottie is your mom. And both of them have been lying to you this whole time. Wow. Well done. You want to go in, say goodbye? So he can't talk. Mm -hmm. Dang. I'm gonna go get the car, I'll follow you home. I love Every day is a gift. Right. 
Phil Leotardo is here to see you? Hey, Blondie. <laughs> it's all you, you know. The reason I'm back here. Well, it's not just me. Thank you for saying that. Anthony? Hey. Johnny doesn't want another unfortunate incident. He's willing to let you keep your paycheck and your W-2 for 10 years. To replace the skin, he'll jack up your share of the sale price to 12%. <sighs> Truth be told, it's enough garbage for everybody. Does that mean we got a deal? Yeah, we got a deal. Be well. Tony looking real good today. I say he should jump off the diving board. I think not. That's how good he's feeling right now. Not. <laughs> oh, there he go again. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. You're kicking off four grand to me every month. And if you ever mention a word of this to Tony, I'll stick this up your ass and pull a trigger till the bullets come out your eye. He said four G's. And he said Tony don't need to know anything about it. Sound like he doing something under the table. Yeah, well, because Tony just made that deal. Mm -hmm. And I with, think that probably might have took, took some out, money out of Paulie's, Paulie's pocket. pocket. Yeah. No skim. But he already told him that, you know, if anything happens like whatever i don't get is gonna come out of your 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 pocket to begin with because he was the one that made all of this happen like basically by trying to sell the company i guess right. i guess right none of it ever would have happened had he not done what he did and now johnny sack ain't backing off of it, and that's the reason no. why tony went ahead and, yeah. and let it go like he's not in a position to fight nobody right now not at the moment and i wouldn't see johnny sack coming off of it with everything he got going on and we talked about that too as far as like the blow back mm -hmm. with Johnny Sass getting locked up, a lot of things are going to change, especially as far as right. like, like the business part goes. Like he's going to put like a strain on everybody. Right. Like if I got to feel the heat, everybody going to feel the heat. Exactly. Uh, but other than that, the, the most important part that I've seen that I feel that this whole episode was like, like Polly though. Polly and Tony waking up. Like, like Tony's home. Like the like the fact that Polly found out that that wasn't his mom. I feel like that's like a huge part. I just feel like that's gonna have like a lasting effect for a while as far as like how Polly moved because you already know he kind of like a hot head already. Yeah, but he not only that, but like you know, I was thinking about that too. Like how much money he was probably putting out to keep her in that in that home. Yeah, it was like everything that he was doing. Like, you saw how much he like loved her. Mm -hmm. Like he was willing to go to almost like 80,000 a year. Or yeah. Something like like that he was willing her. to go overboard to do anything for her. You know, that's my mom. You know, yeah, he, 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 was killed, mad. he killed one of the other, other older ladies. Right. Over that. Right. Over her. <laughs> over her. You know, so all of this to say, you know, really it's been for, you know, you got me taking care of the wrong person, but mm -hmm. Tony's right, though. If she was the one that fed you and kept a roof over your head the entire time, despite the fact of you not knowing that that was your aunt and not your mom, and, by, you know, vice versa, I mean... You just don't cut them off like that. Well, yeah. Like, you, like you try I to... mean, I feel like that's, that's pretty... That's a really big deal for somebody mm. to find something like that out at that time of your life after you've done so Being much for somebody. Yeah. You know, I get the anger. Yeah. You know, but she did take care of him. Yeah, it don't it don't take away from what she's done for you. Right. And help you be the man that you are right, right. now. You know what I mean? Right. Because you because obviously he he loved her to death. Right. You know. Absolutely. Uh, but outside of that, I, like the most important part that we saw was Tony coming up out of the coma and not just coming about the coma, but like really like recovering. Mm -hmm. You know, to the point that he walking around the hospital sitting up. Uh, eating, yelling at people, yeah. conducting business in the <laughs> hospital. I, I I tell you right now, Tony's hospital room. He probably had the most poppinest hospital room in the whole entire hospital in the whole ICU. <laughs> and as far as like the ICU it? unit, he had the most poppinest. Host, most popping, <laughs> most poppinest, <laughs> most popping hotel room. Cause he got everybody going in there. He conducted business. I cannot. People bringing him money. Yeah. Like, people bringing food. <laughs> like he got everybody coming through there. So yeah, he had, he had the most popping hospital room. Yeah, he did. I wanted Carmela to have an opportunity to tell him more about why she was telling him that he need to look out for Vito, but they stopped it. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I feel like you know, you know, 
Carmela is valued when she say something like that. But that was that nugget of information that he needed to hear, though. Probably, absolutely. Especially, especially since he was uh, obviously he was out where he couldn't see what was going on, what right. was transpiring while he was out in a coma. Mm-hmm. And and see, sometimes I feel like that's the reason why, like when you have like a real ride or die woman, like a real loyal woman that's gonna hold you down. And, and, and ride until the wheels fall off. Yeah. I feel like sometimes you got to let her in on some of the stuff that you're doing. Because sometimes, like, just a woman can see things that a man can't see. Right. And, and really put you on the game and put you on the stuff that, that sometimes you as a man just going to overlook. Right. Especially when it comes down to, like, the detailed information. And, and, and I'm glad that she saw that. Yeah. And, you're right. And, and ran it by him. Yeah. I'm just happy to see that he's home and he's better. And I'm just really curious to see where this is going to go, though, with Vito and how this is going to play out with Polly. Because yeah. Polly is a loose cannon. Now he's talking about doing stuff and not telling Tony about something. And here we go again. Again. You know? Keyword, again. Here we go again. Now they about to put Tony in something else that he don't have. You know what I mean? It's like, it's just like when people does, just keep on when does throwing it, him into the fire. When basically, does it stop? yeah. When can we just be normal and everything be kosher? Yeah. Uh, but I do. I did like this last scene when Tony was sitting out there at his pool. He just sitting there looking up, like just thinking about like the appreciation that somebody gonna have, like after going through what he went through, right. to be able to sit out on your patio on your pool deck and be able to look up at the sky and hear the wind. Yeah. You know, I do think he's gonna have to face Junior at some point, though. Some people take like the simplest things for granted. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I, as far as Junior, I'm hey, hey. Whatever happened with Junior, it happened with Junior. No, <laughs> he gonna have to face him at some point. You think so? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right, so. We're gonna see. All right, y'all. When y'all tap in, let us know what y'all think about this down in the comment section. And if y'all are enjoying it, give us a big thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe, smash that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. And if ain't nobody else told you, I love you. And we're going to see y'all in the next video, y'all. Absolutely. He don't have to do nothing about Junior. He don't have to go see Junior. He ain't got to talk to Junior. <laughs> Whatever happened to Junior is just going to happen to Junior. Yeah. Period. Well, we'll Sorry. See. Sorry. <laughs> Bye, y'all.